Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Cannoli and we are back again with the Farmhand series. I guess we're calling it, right? That's what we're calling it? That's what I decided? Um, but we are in a new location, guys. If you can tell, we are not... I mean, it kind of looks like it, especially with up there. But we are not in New York anymore, alright? We are not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Um... <laughs> We, we had to move. The reason being is because the last episode I tried to record, which was supposed to be episode two, we did some bailing. It asked for us to take the bales to the biomass, or the bio, you know. Do, do, is there one on here? There's got to be one on here, right? They, like, throw one on every map. You know what I'm talking about, though. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here looking for it. Um, does that say I own that? I, I don't own you. Big Rollo track. Okay, cool. Um, so anyway, we are in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, guys. This is the new home for the contract series that we're doing here. Um, reason being is I know a lot of people really enjoy Bucks County. And we may even do some farming on here eventually. But right now, we, we're not going to be doing that here right now we're gonna be you know we're gonna be running contracts so we're starting from scratch as you can see up the top right we're just gonna start kind of pretty much over um and i'm gonna do things a little differently just for the just for funsies but we have nine hundred three thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars that's off of the five hundred thousand that we start with whenever you know we jump in uh but we sold I'll show you up there it is we sold that guy. Don't need that guy. I mean, maybe eventually we will. Worry about that when that time comes. Hopefully we'll make a lot of money. Also, whenever I was looking into this map, where were we going to, you know, what, what property were we going to buy? You know, we're going to have to buy a field and, like, turn it into something or whatnot, you know. I, I had questions. And since we're in the multiplayer uh, section, and the reason I do this is because in case, you know, I just want to, Add something else to the to the playthrough. I can just start something new if I wanted to because this map's really cool. Honestly, it's a really cool map. Um, but this is the land we're gonna buy right across the street from the shop. It's a crisp fifty thousand sixty dollars. Um, I was gonna buy this. There's a house on the land, and there's some woods and this little plot. I figured, why do that when we could just bam buy right here equipment. Get boss and gets bought here at Clever Motors and just walking across the street. So now we need to do some construction and actually build the shop. Um and I'm conflicted. I was thinking about adding in this thing about doing this guy, my pretty much my go-to shed. Right? Um after I level everything out, it'll fit for a crisp three hundred thousand dollars. Um but I was also Looking into this Crooked Creek shop. But I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the other shop. So, I'm going to do a little fixing up here of the land, guys. And, uh... I'll get back with you guys here in a second because I don't want to forget too much. Alright, guys. So, after a little bit of time editing... And kind of figuring out how I wanted this place to be set up... Got to figure it out, finally, guys. So, as you can see, we have... Well, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of upgrades done compared to the last series, so... Because, one, we actually have property compared to last time in, uh... New York there, where we didn't have anything. At all. We were starting from scratch, scratch. But since we had a little extra money, I felt like, you know, why not Why not just go on ahead and put a little extra pride into some stuff here? Um, so I went on ahead and got the $300,000 shed built. And I went on ahead and put some uh, fencing up around the property uh, because I felt like it was needed. And just so people know that there's a gate right here. Put a little flashy flashies up top there. I could put some down low, honestly, too. I might do that. We'll see. But as you go ahead and walk it or you come in here, we'll have the gate keep all the boogalers out. We have 
old glory right here, along with a f with a light to uh, shine on it and the entrance all at the same time. I, it's a manual one. Um, I, for some reason the ones that are automatic don't light up as much for me for some reason. I don't know. Could have been a setting I had. I don't know. Either way, we have the uh, we have the shed built. And here's where we'll keep all of our stuff um, and whatnot. We have all this open room for, you know, maybe another barn, uh, a station to have our own lime and fertilizers, herbicides, and and uh, the fencing comes all the way back to here. Here's where we're gonna end up one day building a house. For now, I went on ahead and purchased a container. Had it dropped off here. Um, this is where we will be staying. Apparently, we get dressed. I might have to get another one. I might have to get a new one. I'm not sleeping on that table. Kidding me? Turn on the light. Ah, we have light. Okay, so we get changed to outside and we sleep inside. So eventually, we'll have a house and whatnot back here. So that's kind of the goal, right? Um, but I went on ahead, extended the property back to here. Didn't really do much editing back here. You know, cleaning up the land and whatnot. Uh, it's still to be determined. But we do have a couple gates back here. That way we have a couple access points if we need. We want to leave or something. I don't know what kind of contracts that they're going to offer us here. I bought the expansion pack. If you guys haven't been... Oh, that's kind of an issue, huh? I'm going to go right into the room. Whoops. Anyway, probably should have went that put that the other way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's what we have going on here. The I ain't messed up. It's gonna die if it's just covered in gravel. Uh, but we we have our farm now or our our built lot buildings stuff. You get it. Uh, so now we need to buy some equipment to put in here. We're not gonna go to hog wild. This is where we're going to put all the stuff. So here's where we're going to come in here. And we're probably going to go on ahead and purchase my favorite truck that we have in game that I downloaded. It's either between this Ram or the, uh, the Chevy Kodiak. Um, because this thing can do a lot of hauling for us. 400 horsepower. I think this one actually is more so 500 horsepower. Never mind. I take back what I said. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and add the off-road package here with all the goodie. Yeah, and do all the goodies. Yeah, we'll do we'll do all the goodies. We're gonna we're just gonna go with our our favorite our favorite little build here without the welding machine and the chainsaw because we need that we don't we aren't actually gonna be using them. Wish we were, but we are not. Um, colors to go with. We're gonna go with a nice. We have a Kubota orange. <laughs> Oh wow, actually orange looks good with it. I don't think I've ever done orange, or if I did, I don't remember. Hmm. I do like the deep blue though, but I kind of want everything to kind of go to We'll go gun metal. Hmm. Black candy Oh yeah, look at that. That look that makes us look good. Oh yeah, that looks very good. Okay, so we bought our truck. We use for who knows what because we'll probably honestly let's let's do that. Let's buy a trailer to put with this setup. And I think the one ooh, that's only eight thousand. This one up in here is one that I was originally gonna go with that I might not now. Because it has lights. 30 foot bed. <clears throat> we can use it flatbed. Um, 
Damn, steel makes it cheaper. Go with gooseneck. And the reason I want to get a truck and a trailer is that we can load stuff on it. And, act, you know, see this? This little pendulum thingy, whatever they want to call it. Pin hitch. Um, We could load the tractor up on this and, you know, say it's got the fertilizer spreader or whatever sprayer. Whatever it may be, we can tug along with. So, we're going to buy this with it. We don't need it, we'll get rid of it. But, since this truck doesn't have any lights, I figure the trailer might want to have... Oof, oof, that was rough. Um, but yeah, we got to unfold to dodge. You have to unfold. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, how are we going to... I need, a, I need I need the bed to oh lord oh no this this isn't good it's the doors oh no oh no hmm I'm so confused. This isn't good. Uh, this is not good at all. Um, okay. Well. I wonder if this might be a bad idea. But I'm going to sell it. And hope that it's for sale. Aha, see? It's for sale. A little trick of the trade there, guys. A little trick of the trade if you didn't know. Go flat frame and hitch. As much as I would rather not, you know, and have the gooseneck. Wait, now, now the door's open. I, which one was it? Oh, Lord. Ah, figured it out. So we'll go ahead and take the truck and the trailer. Hydraulic hitch. What is this even doing? Oh, I think we're good. Yeah, all three tires are on the ground. Anyways, let's stop messing around. Stop wasting time, cannoli. Let's get to work. All right, you can you can figure it out later. So we have the truck and we have the trailer, and I really like it. Because the lights will come in handy. You know, because we're going to be working. <clears throat> Alright, so the equipment we're going to go with. I know I said I want to do New Holland and whatnot. Um, but then I got to think. I haven't yet to truly use the Kubota pack more than just at, like, random times. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy a Kubota. We're, we are gonna use probably my favorite to date my favorite um pack that they've released that you could purchase um we're gonna get this with the double wheels <clears throat> we'll add the pro compact and this is gonna be our tractor guys it's got the double row tires is what we're gonna go with that way we can just have that grip. You know, maybe a little less slippage will happen. Um, so there you go, guys. That's our that's our first tractor, which means we're gonna go ahead and get the Kubota goods. <clears throat> so let's get down here into the K's. Komatsu, God bless you. Sorry, if you know Big Dad, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I think we're going to honestly use the Kubota lineup. So we'll eventually get the Kubota wheel loader, skid steers. We'll have these guys. Literally, guys, I want to make this a Kubota series. 
Um, hmm. How much money do we have? Not enough that I want to dump into all that right now. But I do want to get <clears throat> starting out is this. Mm -hmm. That and we'll go with the 24 meter. He gets a big range there. Extra large capacity, weed spot spraying to save a little bit on the stuff. How much black will that add? Oh, that'll turn it all black. Let's make that orange. And hmm. We we could go with that extension on the front actually. Let's Let's take this fertilizer thing across the street, this, the spreader. Okay. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that back into a three-point hitch. Man, this thing sounds so good. I don't know why I don't use the Kubota more for you, you know, for the series, series is that I do. Oh, here we are. So let's go ahead and leave this here because this whole, the reason I went with this building, the whole thing is a workshop. All a trigger. Um, so we're going to do a three point hitch. Look at that, zero dollars. That, right? Awesome. Oh, hey, also guys, really cool thing about this shop. I can turn on the fan. And there's literally a, it's, you know, going outside. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's the, it's the little things, man. It's the little things that get you going. See, look at this. Heater. We have a heater. It's 15 degrees Celsius out. Don't know what that is. Fahrenheit. Because America. Okay? Get off my butt. So now we're going to come back over here, guys. And we're going to pick the sprayer. Might help if I turn. And we're gonna add, which means we can get the mowing equipment too eventually. Go extra on it. Bam, look at this guys, look at this. Look at this outfit. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We still have $132,442, guys. I think that's where we're going to have to... I think that's where we're going to keep her now, right? I got the perfect place to put this little front-end super tanker thing, whatever. Lower it down and drop it. And then we'll take you, not block the fan. Drop you off and you're good to go. Okay, so. Hmm. We have $132,000. And we could go and probably honestly buy like a tanker truck and or some sort of auger truck maybe. But I don't think I want to do that just yet. <clears throat> so, because I don't, I don't know, you guys. I don't know if we're going to need it right off the bat. The only way, though, to find out is by hopping in to our first job. And it is noonish, just about to be noon. It's 11 o'clock here. Um, and the contracts are starting to pop up. Um, so like I said earlier, I'm really uh, wondering, kind of curious as to how the contracts are going to change, if they'll change for all maps. 
um, since I bought the expansion pack. I have started kind of a playthrough, I guess, on the expansion map that they give. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Anyways, it pretty much has a bunch of forestry on it, and it has contracts. And I was like, man, what kind of contracts are we going to have out of it? They had these rock removal ones. It's not like, you know, field rock removal. It was, you know, from a forest forested area. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm curious to see if we uh, get that here. And because of it, I went on ahead and changed it to a company name to uh, Cannoli Works Incorporated. Could have still made it an LLC, but, you know. So, hmm. That's a lot of money. Field seven. Oh, it's currently fifty nine degrees, so we technically don't even really need the fan either. What? What? Did, oh my! Seven. Hmm. 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 Oh, it's actually a decent sized field. Okay. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so we need to mow the grass, bale it, make silage bales, take the bales to Bucks County Bales. That should work, guys. Okay, that's a trigger point that should work. Let's be honest. So to kind of probably help speed things up just a little bit, um, probably going to go ahead and do what I did originally over on the... Middlesburg, Middleburg, Middlesburg. Um, and we're gonna get a swather. And we'll go with these. All right, so we're gonna go case swather. And we'll up the speed here. The reason I'm doing this like this is because... Oh my gosh. I just realized I bought... Oh, 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 oh. oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, huh. Wait. There's two of them? Two of them got bought? What? No, 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 no. Oh, it'll only let me buy two. Hmm. It's open for like a cheap release price. This is what I was kind of hoping for there. <laughs> uh, trying to be a cheapskate. Lease. Up your speed. Okay, so. Let's take the truck and trailer over. I don't think it's going to fit. That sounds so good. So yeah, I don't think the tr the swather is going to fit on here. But we're going to try it. I think if we can get it up and over the wheel wells, we'll be in business. Honestly. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't think even once we clear the wheel wells, this is going to work, but we're going to see. Never hurts to try. Oh, yeah, let's just climb right over it. Hmm. Just as I expected. So we'll kill, still keep this trailer, because we could probably use it for something, right? Mm, but we're going to have to figure something out. It's 
So let's do. Hmm. Still need to check this thing out. I have I have downloaded it. Let's go ahead and use the expansion pack. All right. Let's let's take a dip into the expansion pack. Don't really care for those mirrors on the side. Actually, we want them. Oversized load stuff, right? Don't need all that. Don't need the horns. Antennas? Don't need antennas. Arrow parts? Don't need those. Color? Yes. God, that looks decent, actually. <laughs> I didn't expect that to actually look good. Mm. Go black, black on the rims. Why am I pulling for this truck to be orange? <laughs> We'll just do this. All right. We don't have enough money. Oh, that's because it's $163,000. Uh, let's go ahead and lease. And I do believe I have the lease to own mod. So we'll just lease it until we can own it. I think that sounds like a good idea. Because why not, you know, why not use what they give us, right? So we need a trailer. And I honestly hope that it would be big enough, right? To go on something like that. Something, ch you know, that's cheap. Still get the job done. I don't even think it's going to fit on there. Oh, look at that. It doesn't even, uh, yeah, I didn't think of that, huh? Hmm. Just trying to be cheap over here, you know? should fit on this, right? If it doesn't fit on that, I'm just going to continue to be a cheap ass until, until we get it. So yeah, guys, this is our new home. And this is where we're going to be. Sorry that it took so long to get this video up. Um, or any of them, really, that I may be posting here. Um, YouTube blocked me for a week from posting. Uh, claiming that some of the old, str an old stream that I did on here, uh, playing some FPS games, apparently... And this is why I will probably never do FPS on here, FPS streams on here, is because they claimed hate speech. They claimed I used hate speech. I don't use hate speech. That's not who I am. And uh, they, they decided to uh, say that I do. Uh, so very upset about that, actually. But, you know, it is what it is. I tried appealing it. They won't appeal it. And by they, I mean this stupid robot that they have. Um, that this AI that just goes and checks it, you know. Before, I'd, I'd had to contact them more just to figure it out. Like, and actually get somebody in. The, the, at the end of the day, they'd still have 
I'd still be penalized. Like, it'd still show the strike even if they found no hard, you know, no foul play or whatever. So it's like, it's not even worth, you know, not even worth uh, fighting it, really. It just doesn't seem like a fight to fight. You know what I mean? So that's why it's been so long since we posted again. And it really sucks because I thought of doing this. Ah, there we go. I thought of doing, you know, starting this up here a lot sooner than now, but, you know, YouTube and stupidity. I just fell off the trailer. All right. Cool. Well, guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Um, I was hoping to not make it like this. Make it this type of episode, but this is kind of what we're doing. Is this will be our new startup episode? Uh, I was hoping to get right into some contracts, but I did not make that happen. Even, even after not showing me build the farm or the the shop yard. So in the next episode, we're gonna get to mowing, and we'll get to doing the contracts, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So if you guys did enjoy, please, please, please smack that like button. Uh, and if you are new around here, guys, and you want to watch this series or you want to see more farming content or whatever else I happen to post over here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel a lot, just as much as that like button, if not more, honestly. But just the likes alone really make me happy, guys. So do what you want. If you just, you know, you just don't like what you saw today. I need you to hit that dislike button twice for me, all right? That way I really, really know you didn't enjoy watching today's video. Um, and in the next one, we will be mowing and we'll put the contract. Let's see how it goes over here. Hopefully all the uh, points will work. And if they don't, it's fine. We can sit on it. Maybe we'll comp get compensated. Um our time if it doesn't work but I wanted to go with a map that the that Giants approved you know one that's went through the mod hub testing and all that stuff that way if there is something wrong with it the updates can get pumped out and I know that everything will work and it'll all just be fine and you know all the good stuff I just I'm trying to make a consistent series here because I know that I'm all over the place to farming that's why the farming if you watch any actual farming that I do You'll, uh, you'll need to watch the live streams, guys. So if you want to watch live streams of me farming and just want to hang out, chat, up, chat it up, all of us, uh, go ahead and, like I said, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, guys, thank you all for watching. It's been fun building this, actually. Um, but sorry we didn't get any work in today. But we'll get into it next episode. Until next time, guys. Thank you all later. Or thank you all for hanging out. We'll see you later. Peace.